the coaching journey of Bali Ben, and again, it's another tough season. Uh, Tennessee Tech haven't played any games within the conference yet. That's going to change here. I mean, let's take a look real quick at the season stats. But this team has been consistent. Their offense, they're scoring. Defense can't get it done. And to make matters worse, their kicker is going to be injured for two weeks in there. One of their top linemen can't get a passing grade. So let's go ahead and check out the quarterback stats. 15 for 17, two touchdowns. Guys making some big things. I mean, five touchdowns, one interception, not making bad decisions. And running back, not doing so great. Only 151 yards so far in the four games. Two fumbles that were costly. Better in the passing. Tied in. Got his third touchdown of the season last week. Bringing it in, but it's okay. But here is the better part, Jamison Blair. Four games, 381 yards, 33 receptions, two touchdowns. Uh, so, bright spot of the team. But we still can't get a win, man. You know, you can have good stats. But having a half-star defense with a five-star offense, man, it's not, it's not saying much, right? But Tennessee... Middle Tennessee, Middle Tennessee State University, Murfreesboro, we're going there. Last year's win was against Tennessee State. So I've got to go and maybe beat another Tennessee team. But again, defense is better last year. Senior led, again, but not great. But they weren't a half a star. And this offense, five stars in this offense. Our special teams just took a hit. With a kicker that can hit 64 yarders, missed one at the, in the regulation to take the game to second overtime back-to-back -back seasons, but back-to-back -back weeks. But, man, this offense is something to behold. Should have just went straight there. Uh, but, you know, that's the point. Can't stop anybody. Got to be perfect on offense. And make use of our time. And Jameson Blair not able to grab that one. Shoestring catch, but nonetheless, this freshman quarterback Hansi is he's making big plays making right decisions only got one interception on the season doesn't use his legs too much but when he needs to gets it done nice little scamper on third down Jameson showing off the catching and maneuver ability well done there dives into the first down into the first quarter we go Tennessee Tech does get the ball to start the second half so that is a positive and the backup wide receiver making a grab and making quick moves. It's contagious. And Nezuchud gets the first down once again. And almost intercepted there. Got to make a right decision. It's going to be second down and goal. Get hit immediately. Only gain of one. Got to make the play. Got to make a big play here. Throwing it over to defender. Anuwalu, Anuwalu, nice touch, but the quarterback in traffic, well done, and two-point conversion is good, team's getting much better executing those, and of course the defense goes and gets a touchdown right away, and here's the thing, 37 seconds to go, and they can't even get in the field goal range, kicker, they need to get a lot of yards quick. User time, and it's fucking picked off. Wow. Underthrown. We just talked about how good decisions are made. Field goal right away in Tennessee. Middle Tennessee State takes a 10-point lead. That's disappointing. Just a great defense right there. 16 seconds left. I mean, if we can get a field goal range, that would be dope. But it's just not likely. Almost picked off once again. Can't have that happen. Blair throws it intercepted in field goal range and not able to execute. But that is just, we just complimented a guy and, of course, goes the exact opposite of what we just said. So down by 10. And, again, the idea of trying to get into field goal range without a kicker definitely makes it a little bit more pressure to be perfect. And again, with the defense that can't stop anybody ever makes it just as difficult. Got to play as a cohesive unit, offense, special teams, defense. 
And if you can't do it, it's going to make it more difficult to even attempt a victory. No matter how good you are. First down, Neziocha. Nice grab. And the tight end, Anualu. Nice catch and run. Second down and inches. Gets to the outside. Dives in a little stiff arm. Gain of seven. It's first down again. Trying to score quickly. Gain of seven once again. Lucky number seven. Third quarter is winding down. And they dive in for another first down. Again, the offense, man. They're not turning the ball over. They seem to be moving quick. Cohesive unit. Quarterback has time. Right? Quarterback can move. He's elusive. Oh, nearly picked off again. But makes a move. Jameson Blair to the two-yard line. On a gain of 12. Touchdown, Anualu. All right, what we're going to do here. Two-point conversion. Nice moves by Neziocha. 16 to 18, and he just can't stop him. It's a nine-point lead again. Not having that, that turnover at the end, not even getting in the field goal range. Puts this game pretty much out of reach, uh, except for a quick, quick, quick score and possibly in the field goal range. But, again, we need opportunities. We need breakaway speed, a big play, something to happen. You know, defensive miscommunication. Other than that, just another game where we get 16 or 17 points. on, And it, you know, just consistency, but we can't. Stop them, man. We can't get the stop. Last year, we won one game because we can get a stop. This year, there's no faith. And there he is. The big play opportunity. Gain of 17, cross the 50-yard line. And can't hold that one on. Once again, got to get out of bounds. Gets out of bounds. 35 seconds to go. And hit immediately. 30 seconds left to go in the game. Jamison Blair hits once again. In field goal range, we assume. So we got to get the field goal. It's up. It's good. 41 yards. 12 seconds to go. Onside kick. Game over. Lose by six. And we are the 126th ranked team on... Oh, boy. Offense, man, just two two interceptions, not helping. Southeastern Missouri's coming in. And let's just go take a look at this minor rankings real quick and see how far, how low can you go. There it is, Providence and, what is that, Robert Morris, pretty much the only two teams that are worse than us. And that's tough. So we'll see you guys in Missouri, Southeastern Missouri next week. Let's see if we can pull something together.